was quick. The royal baby was christened on Wednesday, and just one day later, the palace released four family portraits from the private affair. Here's a look at the fam in all their glory. Prince George raises the roof in the latest photos released by the royal family. The three-month-old looks as happy as ever amongst loved ones during his day in the spotlight. The wee one was reportedly on his best behavior at his baptism. The stunning shots were taken by celebrity photographer Jason Bell, who snapped everyone from Emily Blunt to the ladies of Downton Abbey. Fifty Shades of Grey has officially recast its lead. Jamie Dornan will play Christian Grey in the erotic thriller. The actor inked a deal to star in the flick just one day after being tied to the racy role. E.L. James confirming the good news herself, tweeting, Stow your twitchy palms, ladies. Our man is here. Adding a warm welcome to Team 50. The 31-year-old replaces Charlie Hunnan, who bailed after butting heads with the writing team. Katy Perry sure knows how to pump up a crowd, but this next story could quite possibly silence a room. Katy Perry reveals she's kept locks of starlet's hair for, well, no reason really. In a recent interview, the singer admits she copped a chunk of Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift's hair when the trio shared a dressing room during her first Grammy Awards. The pop star says she packed them in her purse for the night. No word on whether she still has the creepy memento, but this kind of seems like a ploy to get Prism on everyone's radar. Old Flames reunite in the video for Paul McCartney's Queenie Eye. Johnny Depp and Kate Moss, the beloved 90s sweethearts, star in the Brits' latest from his eighth studio album. The Beatles frontman got a little help from his famous friends on this one because the video also stars a slew of other celebs, including Meryl Streep, Chris Pine, and Sean Penn. Meanwhile, the music icon graces the cover of the November issue of Rolling Stone Mag, where he opens up about his long-standing feud with Yoko Ono. The 71-year-old says he squashed the beef because his late bandmate George Harrison urged him not to hold on to the past. Now he thinks John Lennon's last love is pretty badass, and we agree. Thousands of students packed the Saddle Dome yesterday for We Day. Canadian artists like Down with Webster played the event to help encourage kids to do good in the world. It's really important to us because, you know, we're a band and sometimes being a band seems like a selfish thing to do. You travel around having fun every night and getting to play and, and I think to get to be a part of anything that gives back is, it's really good for us and it's, it's really good for our, the guys in our band to do that. It's really important. So now that it's set in stone, what do you think of your new Christian Grey? Let us know. Just tweet us at Ent City. Entertainment City presents the hottest night in country music. Urban. I just want to sing a little Underwood. Clarkson. Swift. Loving him is like driving a Join us live from the red carpet at the CMAs. You never know what's going to happen. Entertainment City's coverage of Nashville's biggest night is brought to you by TripCentral.ca. The Country Music Association Awards, Wednesday, November 6th, only on City. <laughs> from Rogers, Your World this week, Brad Smith is in the house talking entertainment and Independence Day. There, It's Independence Day, too. When was yeah, the first one? Uh, like 1996, in the 90s? 1996 96. was the first one. It was wildly success, successful. Excuse me. Broke all uh, box office records at that time. Uh, but now Roland Emmerich, uh, the director of the first one, is trying to convince Will Smith to sign on for a second one. Says he has two scripts ready. One has Will Smith in it. The other one doesn't. My question to you is, is this like a Hangover 2 and 3? How many times can you play off the Independence Day movie, which is basically fighting for your life and the world on the 4th of July? I don't, I know I saw it, but I don't even remember. So basically 96. these aliens come down <laughs> from the world and then Will Smith uh, single-handedly as an air pipe, or, or air fighter has to uh, combat the aliens uh, with Jeff Goldblum, obviously the character of choice to, to uh, you know, save the world. I kind of remember it now, yeah. yeah. 
This is pretty, pretty much what made Will Smith the blockbuster hit. This was just after Bad Boys. Yep. And uh, this was his next film. And uh, I mean, that's what made him pretty much into the action star. So they want Will Smith in the role, but did they have another script just in case he says no? But you know what? Just money in tough. Yeah, just in case Will Smith is smart and doesn't want to pretty much do the same movie over and over again. But uh, you never know because uh, Roland Emmerich did make The Day After Tomorrow, which is another box office hit. But he's getting into the kind of trend where it's like, I'm going to make movies only where the world is in peril and Will Smith is my only savior. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see if it happens. It might not even happen, though. Uh, well, it might, it might not happen. They've set a, a tentative date, but we, who knows if Will Smith is going to be attached to it. Okay, so uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye. Yeah, I think uh, we've talked about Kim and Kanye quite a bit in the last two weeks, and I'm kind of getting a little bit of a hangover from it because now they're saying, oh, Kim and Kanye need a prenup. Well, no blank, Sherlock. <laughs> I mean, this girl is gonna go through, down her third marriage before she's 33. Like she's entering Elizabeth ter is uh, it, territory right now. Is she divorced yet? Is she? She is officially yeah. okay, separated. Sorry. She is. But uh, let's just say, last time forever was 72 days. I'm just wondering how long this one's gonna get. Well, you know what? Now that they have a child, exactly, it might last a little bit longer. But they need a prenup because apparently she's worth more than him. But she is worth more than him. Uh, Does that know. surprise you? I don't know if it's her worth more than him or the Kardashian brand worth more than uh, Kanye is because Kanye is obviously an international superstar. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the problem is is that reality TV now has put us in a situation where this is daily news every day based on every movement they have ever made, whereas we're used to back in the day, movie stars pumping out one or two projects per, per year. Uh, so I think we're all getting a little bit tired of Kim and Kanye right now. I don't think it's going to end. So. I, ne I next thing you know, uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking about them getting a dog. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Whatever's next with them, they're sticking around. Then the for dog's going to have to sign the prenup. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the dog's name will be South. We're